Uh oh, voiceover, makeup edition. So we're starting off with a primer. So our makeup has something to grip to, and that it looks hydrating. Also, doing my eyebrows first. This this time I decided to go fill in with a black pencil. You don't got to do too much when it comes to the black. You gotta, you know, shading a little bit and brush it out with the brushes. I love this part of the makeup, beating in that foundation and contouring the face. That's my favorite. What's your favorite part when it comes to doing your makeup? I just started doing makeup like a couple of months ago, and <laughs> this shit was easy. <laughs> Low key, high key. Been I've been contouring. With two different shades of contour. I use, when it comes to my face, I contour with a darker shade. And when it comes to my nose, I contour with, like, the right shade that I should be using to contour my face. But still, this still is, this still is giving a look. I like it this way. Anyway. So just beating my face. See? I love contouring the nose, like, ew, like, not contouring my nose when it, I'm doing makeup. It just don't look right. You have to contour your nose. It's just my rule. <laughs> hey. Anyway, you saw that. Mm. The blush was just blending in so seamlessly. I loved it, like... Period. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all see it. Okay. So right here, I am concealing the eyebrows. And I only concealed at the bottom instead of the top. So you really want to take your time on doing the eyebrows. But you could do the top if you wanted to. But that's not what I did in this makeup look. So, yeah. And let me know if y'all interested with me being very being more detailed like with the kind of brushes that I use because it's a lot that's going to be going on in this video. <laughs> Nang -a -a. Because hint, 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 a major hack, you need to use all of your makeup brushes when it comes to doing your makeup because do not panic. Do not fear when something goes wrong. That's why you want to make sure you have your makeup brushes all of them near your foundation, the con the con the concealer, the contour, you want to make sure all of them is near so you can go back in and fix whatever needs to be fixed because it's makeup, so don't panic. But at the same time, you know, take your time. <laughs> Cause some mistakes just might be too big to fix. And you may just gotta restart that motherfucker over. Anyway contouring my nose it's another one of my favorites too because the nose makes your face just like the eyebrows so does your nose and i love doing a bright under eye look so i did a bright under eye look in this makeup look but it could have been even brighter so i didn't even go as bright like as i normally like 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 it really will go but this is still a, considered my bright under eye look because what I really would have did, if I really wanted to have a brighter under eye look, I would have went in with a powder, a pressed powder. And then, yeah, do it like that. But I didn't do that in this makeup look, so. Bro. The concealer was catching on to my nails. As you can clearly see. Well, yeah, that's why I made that face. I'm just pat, 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 and baby, this concealer set too fast. All it needed was 30 seconds. But if you find that the makeup isn't budging, all you got to do is spray setting spray, whether that's on your face or on a sponge. But I don't like to do that way because I feel like it makes the makeup look blotchy. I don't know. I just 
if I had to, then I would have went to that. But I didn't have to. I just really pressed in hard. Now I'm going in with uh, my banana powder, setting powder, something like that. It's a setting powder, though. And I'm setting my under eye. I love this part, too. But you also got to be careful with this part because this, you can come back from it. That's what I'm saying. Makeup, makeup you can fix it, but you got to have the materials. I mean, all of the materials needed because if you don't, you kind of fucked. But I do have, you want to have your shade of setting powder, too, as well. But I like a bright under eye. I like my forehead to kind of be a little bright, too. My chin area. Yeah. The T-zones, basically. That's where I like to be bright. And you got to quickly wipe that setting powder from your nose because it will set. Especially if you don't have it accurately in a straight line. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't let that stay there too long. Period. It's just still on. Let me know if you want to know what I did for that. Because that's definitely a hack of mine. Too. Now, when it comes to this setting spray, when the setting spray ball stops moving, when you stop hearing that ball move, that's when you know that the setting spray has really, you really mixed it well. My other e.l.f. setting spray, you just got to listen to the sound. That's when you know that the setting spray is able to be used. At first, beginner me, when I was using the setting spray, I would just go immediately to spray my face without knowing that I had to shake the bottle first, bro. Anywho, I thought there was something on me. I do not play by bugs at all. I don't care if it don't got a heartbeat. I don't like it. Did I barely like humans? Blending out that line. Mate lipstick. And I have a lipstick in that shade too to put over it. But that one, I need a new one of that. That one I had for a long time. You do not want to know. <laughs> And then I like to go in with a lighter shade just in a little bit. In the little bit what? In the middle of my lips. I could have like mixed it in some more. Anyways, I love this part too with doing my lashes. Lately, I have been finding that I like to do my natural lashes instead of fake lashes because it gets annoying. Ow. Yeah, you know I'm feeling about something. Yo! Yo. All right, child, this is fun.